Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Cataclysmo. In the last episode, we finished the first three tutorial missions, and it looks like we finally are going to get into the non-tutorial missions, so that's exciting. I'm really pumped to try that out. But before we dive in, a quick announcement. Many of you know I have moved to full-time content creation. This is a new thing for me, and I'm pretty excited to move into this uh, new sphere. And if you would like to know more, head over to the Discord. Uh, there's a link in the About section. And another thing I'm doing is adding some Patreon stretch goals. So when we hit certain amounts of subscribers, there will be some special rewards, such as a 12-hour stream or eventually a 24-hour stream, a chess stream. And no, I don't know how to play chess. I mean, I know the rules, but that's about it. Uh, so that one will be fun. So yeah, consider Consider supporting on Patreon as low as $2 a month to, to help move towards those goals, as well as getting some special rewards and even sneak peeks and special channel access for certain tiers. So head over to patreon.com slash Crydax if you're interested in that. I do appreciate my patrons so very much. You guys help keep the channel rolling. And as I move into full-time content creation, that is uh, for sure the best way to support me. But the fact that you're viewing this video is also wonderful support, and I thank you for being here, and we are going to dive into a fearful frontier. So three, I assume that means three days? Uh, find a strong place to root this expedition. Overseer, seize horror land if you must. Main objectives is hunt down a brood nest and defend the citadel at all costs. Optional objectives is destroy the brood nest and seek greater prosperity. I am going to go to hard. Uh, I think I'd rather lose once in a while than kind of just have it easy the whole time. I think... I like a difficulty where I feel like I'm almost losing, but I never quite lose. And so I generally tune it harder first. And if I have to back off, I will. So we'll see. We'll see what hard feels like. Another one? We've been finding these everywhere, Overseer. The region is lousy with them. Fruit nests. This is not ideal. The expedition needs this land as a springboard to a move on. A brood nest. I presume that's just a spawner of enemies. But the pupae in these brute nests will emerge as adult horrors, and soon. That's interesting. <laughs> and somewhat repulsive. Every Quite repulsive. Read, Harold. It is only our bad luck that horrors do it so quickly. This nest. Let us take it down while we can. I don't see a nest. What are they looking at? <laughs> There's just mist over there. Oh, that's the nest. Oh, it's like a fallen tower. Okay. Spawns horrors over time when attacked. Makes building nearly impossible. Okay, so they don't have like a ton, a ton of health. Yeah. Mm. Low oxygen production. That's no good. These little nurseries aren't so tough. You won't be boasting when a swarm approaches. Any nest it passes will burst open and... Any nest it passes will burst open. Interesting. Destroy brood nest five, nights until swarm three. Okay, so we need to think about production here. Um, what do we got? We need wood. We need oxygen. We need uh, little shanties or whatever they're called. Quarry, there's a warehouse, increased storage limit of wood, stone, and mineral, allows research of resource gathering improvements. Ah. Building warehouses in strategic spots is vital when gathering. I wonder why the spot matters. Um, it's not exactly clear to me why the spot of the warehouse matters. I wonder if... Um, Oh, you know what? I bet workers can drop off resources at the warehouse. It doesn't say that, but that is what I'm guessing. Because when you're far from the Citadel, you build a warehouse next to your sawmill, and then they can drop off at the warehouse instead. That's my guess. Take it or leave it. Uh, okay, so we need wood. We need all sorts of stuff. Um, let's get the wood over here. And we want plentiful 15. As close as we can to the citadel. There we go. So wood is going. And then we need to build a shack. 
All the same, Overseer, we can't neglect our plans to build this new settlement. You're right. Start gathering wood and stone, Harold. I think I'll build this shack here. Oh, what's this? Settlement prosperity. Each prosperity level unlocks new pieces, buildings, and unit types. You grow in prosperity by building. Each prosperity level is a key building required to level up. Smaller pieces will earn you prosperity points when placed. Progress and requirements can be seen at the top of the build menu. So there we go. We need 50 points and a barracks. Okay. So as far as I can tell, the workers don't actually like need good pathing here. So I can just plop that right on top. Because we want an air filter kind of in the corner so that we have more room for air filters over here. And then... I do have some stone. Should I just go for a tall air filter to start with? Five meters tall. And then is that full, full power? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So full power, oxygenation, and then we're going to need to make some wooden connections for that. And I think I can do stairs on top of that. Uh, will it not tell me till it's built? Maybe not. Okay, so then we're gonna need stone. Um, there's a lot of things I don't know. Let's ex. Well, first of all, there's resources there. Right away. And up here, so we're gonna go explore those areas. I don't know what's Good. out over here, so let's send her Iris over there. Uh oh, now what? That ancient beacon. A beacon. Been corrupted by the Palido. We cannot build with this thing nearby. Okay, they sometimes defile an ancient beacon, creating a corrupted beacon. Makes it impossible to be build nearby. Destroy them to make this territory safe to build within. Oh God, he's so dead. I didn't realize there were so many baddies up here. Um, I thought he was going to walk up these stairs. Didn't realize he had to yes. walk all the way around. This is where we're going to get stone, mm. though. But you're going to have to retreat. Mm -hmm. I'm on it. Beat a hasty retreat here. I've got this. We can kite them. I don't want to waste all my time kiting, though. Okay, so this lacks a path, huh? Wait. What? What's going on here? Is it the shack? Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. Um... Oops. Uh, shoot. I guess... I think it will have a path if I move this. Okay, so let's do something like this Low oxygen then. Production. I think this will fix it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I didn't... You know, when I was rotating the shack... It looked like it didn't have a doorway that needed to be connected. I must have been missing it. Let me... Yeah, there is a doorway. I don't know how I was missing that when I was rotating it around, but I never saw that little arrow. Okay. Anyway, that is a good start. I like the compactness of that, and we've got an air filter. It's going full mill. Full mill? Sawmill? Full bore, I think is what I meant to say. And then I'm going to get another one going because the only cost is oxygen maintenance and a one-time oxygen cost. So there's really no reason not to get another sawmill going here. In fact, should I get three? I think having like infinite wood is going to be pretty awesome. Think of all the spikes I can make. So we're going to do that. Iris is under attack. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things I have to pay attention uh -huh. to here. Iris, you back up a little bit here. We 
that you can handle a f no don't walk there handle a few enemies on your own maybe does she do splash she doesn't do splash okay Uh, the camera speed is a little low for my taste, I'm not gonna lie. Me high. On my way. Doing it. I can probably turn that up. Is under attack. Yeah, I need to turn that. It's so slow. Uh, movement speed. Let's bump that up to like 1.5. There we go. Uh, that might actually be too fast now. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe 1.3, 1.28. Perfect. Yeah, that feels good. Hmm. It's just really annoying when I want to go up to where my dudes are and I have to hold, you know, W for five hours. Mm -hmm. But let's get these horrors taken care of. On my way. Yes. I have to do some kiting. Mm -hmm. huh? All right. Sweet. Yeah. So now they can take care of that corrupted beacon. And I need to do lots of stuff. I'm on hard, so that's why I'm pausing more often. Is I'm trying to think about kind of all the stuff we need to do to get set up. A quarry will go up there. There's no rocks down here. And then a warehouse needs a lot of people to build. So I am going to build a lot of shacks. What do they cost? Just wood? Okay. I have plenty of wood, and with three sawmills, I'm going to continue to have plenty of wood. So we'll do that, and then we're going to need uh, barracks once that's done. We lack citizens for that. Those things belong in a nightmare. We can build safe now that it's gone. Okay, so now I can build my own beacon to extend the building area up here. Me high. I like hmm. these little random structures. A unit it's good flavor. Its destination. Definitely gonna go and just build some stone bricks here. Let's see, 20, 40. So this is gonna cost what, like 50 ish stone to build it up high? That's fine. Um, they have a three tile radius. So I should be able to build it right next to this one. Can you have any overlap on the oxygen? Spiral, spiral, other spiral, and we're good to go. Sweet. Okay. Blueprints will be nice. Uh, I probably should figure out, oh yeah, look, I can, I can just do it that easily. Um, create new, I'm going to copy that whole thing. Perfect. So now I can just plop that wherever I want. Okay. That's great. That saves me a lot of trouble. All right. We need to build our wood or our stone collecting. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit two in here. Yeah. We'll just jam it in there to get as many minerals as I can. It looks like six is the number. And then probably should build an air filter up here too. Might as well. Ah, uh, but I need the I need more stone. We need to find a second stone deposit. I think that's gonna be an early an early thing we want. And then a barracks is next. Okay, barracks can go right behind the citadel here. Okay, Iris, how do you heal? Automatically returns to the citadel and health That's runs right. out. Can you... Um, improves military capacity. I should probably do that. It just takes time, a little bit of wood, oxygen. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, she'll explore this way a little bit. See if there's anything to see. 
I should have hmm? you explore this way. Where to? You explore right that way. We'll right, this seems like a clear indicator that I should try to cross over here. So I shall. Needs more support. Alright, how is that? Boom. The masks on. Is there gonna be more stone over here? That's my guess. Yes. Well, that was a brood nest. We will prevail. Oh, they're attacking the scenery. Makes sense. Um, okay, unlock level two. I need 360 oxygen. Okay, we got a lot of stuff to do. Right, first, I'm gonna build another, another one of these guys. Whoa, that's interesting. Can you undo? You can select it all and hit delete. Perfect. Um, it's very interesting that you can like build a illegal blueprint, but we don't want to do that. We want to build a legal blueprint such as this. So there we go. I guess this isn't the perfect blueprint because it was next to a ramp last time. So now I need another stair piece. Here is where you at, girl. Huh? For oh god. Oh no. It's okay. We're under attack. Apparently it's not really a problem. Okay, so maintenance is just oxygen for all these dudes. Lobbers are interesting. Lobbers are so much better than bowmen, but they're twice as expensive in terms of the citizen cost. And they both only take one military cap and the same maintenance. So it feels like focusing on lobbers is ideal, especially when I have this many minerals. So let's start with four lobbers. Not enough wood. And we'll do that. It seems like having a few bowmen might be nice for higher health enemies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So I presume you can't like uncover the mist. At least if there's a way to do it, we haven't seen that yet. Maybe there's a building later that like pushes yes. back the mist or something. I've got this. Um. But yeah, let's build some some stuff here. Um, oh, I'm completely out of stone. stone. Wonderful. Um, I can at least build the crappiest walls of all time. And they will stop the enemy for a millisecond. Huh? On it. Might be enough for this guy to do some damage. Where? Oh, wow. Uh, the uh, scenery stone does not last very long, by the way. <laughs> this is what we are were, we were learning. It's not real stone. I've got this. Not real stone. Me. I'm on. Retreat. Uh, where's the other? Yeah. Let's bring the lobber over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right away. They can have their way with that thing. Can I research this? No. I need some more oxygen. Yes. Hmm. On my way. Wet on it. What makes sense? Post me high. Alright. No. All right. Don't let them destroy the shack. I'm ready. Hmm? 
I'm hoping this many lobbers can hold off. Yep. Oh, geez. On my way. Just gonna have to do some more kiting. Mm -hmm. On it. I'm on it. It looks like their cooldown does work while this. they move, so. Right away. Kiting does function properly. Mm -hmm. I'm on it. We're under attack. Mm -hmm. Kill them all. Right away. All right. Doing it. Let's go already. It's almost nighttime. That's yeah. a little scary. I don't really have walls, nor do I have enough stone to build walls. Um. Guess we'll see what happens. I'm gonna build some bowmen. Yes. Where to? Oh, jeez. Hmm? Yeah. On my way. On no, it. don't die. I've got this. The night is nearly here. Okay, the night's nearly here. Are you gonna tell me where I'm gonna get attacked from? Just there? Okay. We should be able to survive that. Me high. But mm -hmm. these guys are gonna be needed. I'm on it. Finish him off. We'll deal with that tomorrow. Hmm. Doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are bad walls. Those are not high health. We need to rebuild that. Or build in front of it. Damage and range uh -huh. boosts are already set up for these yep. guys. I like it. Right away. Put an archer on the top who has deadliest priority. Because he does critical hits from up here. Or at least increased critical chance. Yes, I've got this. You can do that too. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should be fine. We've got lots of Post me on it. lots of firepower here. Now they're not gonna like go up here, are they? On my I way. hope not. I should probably build a wall there. I only have twenty-four stone. Oof. Spikes. Where are my spikes? Maybe I don't have them yet. Is the toughness higher on these? Ah, it has three. All right. Oxygen is dwindling. Building lacks a path to the citadel. Oh, there's no path here. There we go. Okay, so now they have a path around Low that oxygen side. Production. And then we should be ready for an attack. Ideally, this is enough of a wall that they can't get over here quickly. They'll have to destroy a lot of things to get over there. And I think I have enough troops. There's the trap. Could not find that for the life of me. All right, yep, we'll spend all our wood. We're getting lots. Plus 183 a minute, yeah. All right, whatever. We'll wait till tomorrow to deal with it. The horrors are coming. For now, we shall see what the horrors can manage against a wall of spikes. Nice. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Okay, that was not bad. Overseer, look, reinforcements from Ciudad Hogar. Ooh, I'll take reinforcements. Special. The order of Troops. 
Uh -huh. What do you guys do? Captor. Deals low damage, slowing enemies for a short time. This is a reinforcement unit and won't use any oxygen in storage. Ooh. Cool. Do they like... They like low ground. Okay. Hmm. Well. Ah, please. We'll handle... I'm on it. Well, how facile. Mm-hmm. We... Mm -hmm. All right, we need to we need to Good. take this thing out. Okay, I am back. I uh, had to take a break to get something done in real life, and now I don't remember anything. Uh, no, just kidding. We were working on, I believe, barracksy stuff. I should probably do these researches. Bowman, lobber health, range for all units in barracks and prosperity to stuff so we'll get all that done and i believe we were going to clear out this nest which should be a bit more doable oh so there's attack move stop to attack any enemy on site all right do i need a lobber here we might actually need a lobber um yeah yeah we'll bring over a couple they're not doing anything. Wait, what? Oh, how did I grab all of them? That was on accident. Good. For Ogar. Masks on. All right, y'all, come on. Get these kills. We all myself. We will prevail. This whole group should be able to. Take everything out, right? There we go. There's the lobbers doing their thing. All right, surely this is a big enough squad. Um, and I believe I needed more oxygen and I need to redo the blueprint. Can I do this better? I don't know if I can. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, idea. Idea. Am I... Am I smart? What if I do this? Uh, I need to do this somewhere where I can fit an oxygen doodad. Otherwise, it won't work. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Haha! -ha! It's a lot cheaper. I just saved myself, what, 10, 20 stone? It's like way cheaper. Um, those are five, those are five, which will look better. They're going to be exactly the same. It just might look better to do it this way. Do these have different toughness? Look, I'm, I'm, I get distracted easily. Um, <laughs> I like to know things. Uh, they have the same toughness. Okay. So it is just visual. Okay. Anyway, so then we, can we put the thing on? We can... Okay, so then this is gonna make the staircase a lot easier because we can build underneath. I'm actually uncertain how we're gonna do this. Let's try this. So we'll come down and then come down that way. Ooh hoo hoo. And then we can do this. Oh man, oh man. Um, but then I have another idea. Let's see, we're paused so I can do that. Then what if instead of what I was doing, I do one of these things. Oh my gosh, brilliant. And then I can do that. And then we can do stairs, the other ones. And then I can do that. Wow, we did it. So it's only a two by three footprint now for a full oxygenated thing. And the other question I have, I'm guessing this won't work, but we got to try it, is can I support all of this like this? Yeah, I figured that wouldn't work. Um, so no, the answer to that is no, but that works.
Sweet. Okay, so that's going to be my BP. So we're going to delete that one. Yes. Create new. Boom. Finish. Can I name it? Feels like I should be able to name it. You can upload it to the Steam Workshop. Oh well. Sweet. And what does that blueprint cost me? 73, 30, and two. Oh wait, I need people for the oxygen filters? What? Why did I never notice that? Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, two people. How many does a shack give me? Four? Shack gives me four. Okay. Oh, you know what I should also do is create a shack oxygen filter uh, design. Because the shack is nice because it actually gives me height on the oxygen filter um, without needing to use stone. So then this can be an even cheaper usage of stone. So I can do this, which is only 12, 16. Yeah. So I should, or no, I guess it's a little more than that. Um, so 20, now, so 20 stone. She needs to stop being under attack. What are you guys doing over here? You guys just clowning? Why are you all clowning? Probably because there's so many of the brood nests. Uh huh. That's right. We will prevail. What do we got? Wood. Take some free wood. I should build that warehouse thing. I can't. It's 400 oxygen. That is kind of a lot of oxygen. We are needed. Attack move. Oh yeah. Kaboom. Oxygen is dwindling. We will prevail. Okay, is that all? I need to progress to prosperity level two. I think that's all I can do right here. Uh, how did we get to level two again? This. I need 360 oxygen. Okay, I really do need more oxygen then. So it's actually not crazy to build two more then. All right, so this one. Yeah, I think these are good blueprints to have because they're nice and compact and they're gonna be pretty commonly things I'm gonna wanna build. So this is like, House plus oxygen, and this is just plain oxygen. Which apparently I did it wrong. So never mind. I'm wondering if this is the problem, this corner. Um So I guess I can make this differently anyway. So we can just do it like that, and then this, and then a single. That still doesn't work. Interesting. Is he going to hit his head on that as he walks up? Is that the problem? That doesn't work either. Is it this corner? Huh. Maybe an archway will help there. <gasps> that was it. It was that corner. Okay, then for oxygen is dwindling. Symmetry, we'll do it that way. Okay, so I need to remake that blueprint because that blueprint was actually bunk. All right, and then this one should be fine. There's no overhangs. 
I do wish I could name them. Because those kind of look the same. But you can sort of see the shack on the bottom. Okay, that'll get me lots of oxygen. I already built extra shacks. I should be doing okay on peeps. And there's nothing more over here. So let's go this way with our army. We still It's still midday. We're good to go. What is this? Ah, I see. We need to build a bridge, huh? Well, first let's bombard the enemy. How about we? Wait, what? I guess they can run into the mist. That makes sense. They own the mist. its destination right. I guess I need stairs ah I see I need a spiral there maybe there there we go where to mm -hmm. on it there we go Mid-sized brood nest, huh? Let a solid plan. Um, I should. Can I upgrade now? Yes. Level two prosperity. a proper bridge here. I can do that. I guess we can span. Uh -huh. You get out of the way. Right. Um except Iris is gonna get stuck nice. there. Okay. There we go. All right, everybody should be happy. We will prevail. Happy, happy. Go collect our rewards. A unit can't reach its we destination. Except I need stairs. Masks on. Good. Look at all these goodies. Oh God. And it does look like when you collect goodies, you go above your cap, which is nice. I need a beacon. I'm gonna need a couple beacons. Ding. Harden as we prosper. Each advancement brings us closer to defeating the horrors. All right, what can I upgrade? Anything? Barracks. Oh, each prosperity level opens new possibilities. A masonry guild to improve your pieces, new tactical elements, advanced military buildings, and even new resources to gather. Our quarry is up and running now. If we had a warehouse close to it. Fire arrows, throwing position. Here we go. Warehouses allow stone minerals and wood to be stockpiled without bringing them all the way to the citadel. They also increase your storage limit. Yes, yes, yes. We do know about them. We've conjectured we the what they do. An air trader. Oh. <laughs> Mar markets have always been fair, perfect, and self-regulating. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, I love that. All right, let's make more house oxygen collector combos. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Basically, I want infinite oxygen. That didn't work. Uh-huh, that's right. We will prevail. 
Uh oh. Ah, that's a lot of baddies. I need to do some kiting, maybe. Yeah. What? Building lacks a path to the citadel. What did we do here? Really? But that's a slope. Why does that not count as a path? Units can walk up and down that, I think. Whatever. There's your path. We're under attack. 640 a minute. I have infinite oxygen. So now I need another beacon. Right there. I need uh, a home extension. Ooh. Figured it would be an upgrade. Let's see what these do. How many people we get. How much did they cost? A home extension is 10.5 minerals, whereas the home is just wood. But a home extension doesn't cost any more oxygen supply. Oh, good. Masks on. Boom. We will prevail. We will prevail. All right, last one. Unfortunately, I think we're not going to be able to finish this. Masks we need to head back. Head back to defend the walls we here. Prevail. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I can just build four more lobbers and call it a day. Mm, no, I want to bring all my defenders back. I don't want to risk it. And then... Bowmen, hunters, and partisans with flaming arrows. Poison coating. Sounds nice. I can build a bunch more traps if we want. Didn't I see something about a masonry? Oh yeah, that's that one. Did I build that? I don't think I built that yet. Um, Can only one home extension apply at the same time? Because shouldn't that be six, not... Not uh, five? These have a doorway, but it doesn't look like they need door access. Hmm. I'm curious. Can it double apply? Yeah, I just, there's a lot of questions about how that all works. The night is nearly here. All right, are we getting attacked from three directions? Just two? Okay. I was wondering if this direction would get attacked, and indeed, tis. I think it should be pretty simple. Oh, boosts the range of a unit behind it and allows building on top of it. That's nice. Have an idea then. Um, let's bring. Shines. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's see, lobbers three, bowmen two. And maybe uh -huh. one right. captor. We are masks on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you. 
I think that should be enough to defend this direction. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right away. Yeah. Forget how we do this. Control left click. T. There we go. Get rid of this scenery. Okay, now let's build a real wall. Wow, okay. So you really want to get to four meters. They're kind of crap before that. And then the Merlons just take it to the next level, even. Not enough space. I guess they can't overlap like that. Oh, this is where I need the corner Merlon. Like that. Sweet. Okay. And then access. On my way. All right, damage and range boost plus all that. I think that'll be good enough for this attack. I'm liking it. And then this one. It seems pretty good the way it is. I guess I could. Make things a little better with a yes, banner I'll... over here. Huh? I've got this. Or maybe huh? Merlon's here. Banner there. And for a pretty cheap price, I can make a, a wall that will s will hinder them. At this point, I don't like their chances. I'll just say it. They do not have a chance. Uh-oh. What's this? Ooh, a new type. Fury, fast horror with medium health. Extra reach when swiping with high damage attacks. <laughs> Prepare for their speed. 90 hit points too. Uh oh. I uh, maybe underestimated that attack. This attack's gonna be fine. I do have three more lobbers, let's bring them over. How's this wall doing? Gosh, they barely even got to the walls. They did break through the middle, but that was easy. Now, would it help to do this? Does that change anything at all? Like when they destroy that one underneath, I guess we'll find out what that does. I'm, I'm not totally sure about the mechanics yet. Because it feels like it could go a lot of different ways. And I'm also curious if the masonry place gives us an ability to repair. Um, I did build a beacon here. Why is it not? Huh. I guess you can only build warehouses so far away. I can just barely... F oh, now it'll let me build it over here. Weird. Half a second ago, it wasn't letting me build it here. 
Okay, so I'm going to build a warehouse here. And then we'll build another quarry. That. And then a home extension. Oh, no. Does it not work vertically? LOL. I thought this was going to work. This might not work. My brilliant idea. Not so brilliant, eh? Okay, so here is... Building lacks a clear path. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh man. I guess I'll have to do it that way. Do you think I should kind of do what I did in the other spot? And make a couple preliminary walls that they have to get through. These are only three stone a piece. It's pretty cheap. That's good there. Some more houses with oxygen down here. Why not? Yeah. Oh, there's a lobber. Solid. A lobster. Not enough resources. Huh? Mm hmm. Low oxygen production. Okay, call me crazy, but I think this is actually Not enough the best way to toughen up these walls. Because, yeah, it, it takes them up to toughness medium by only adding six stone worth of resources on top of it. Which is cheaper than adding the necessary number of pieces above it to make it medium toughness. I'm on it. Uh-huh. Right on. Huh? Alright, you guys should target deadliest. It's me. Same with you. Uh -huh. Double clicking isn't working. Yeah. Oh, they're different captors. Uh -huh. That's the Ogar captor, which is on rent. This is the one uh -huh. I made. They don't count as the same unit type. Alright, I don't think I have enough spikes. Need more spikes! Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh, there's a save button up there. Interesting. Wait, where... Where else can I go to destroy brood nests? I've already gone everywhere I can go. What am I missing? Oh, right. We never finished over there. Wow. That's right. Here we go. Here's the final brood nest. Low oxygen production. Good. We will prevail. Alright, adding another barracks did not, in fact, 
help, sadly. Masks off. And I never built a masonry, I just remembered. So it needs 500 oxygen. a captor all right we gotta blow this blow this popsicle stand right away that's back home or night hits what is this is this like a billion gems uh it looks like it yeah good if I need such things but yeah. Masks off. Y'all get back to the main walls, please. And we'll give them poison. The night is nearly here. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Man. Okay, there's only a few. Coming from that direction. Dozens, hundreds. Um, Post me high on it. Only a few, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see what they can do. I think I'll keep um, Iris back and one more lobber. Or maybe since there's only a few, a yep, bowman would be it. better. Eyes open. Hmm. Yes, on my way. Post me. I've got this. We'll try that. It's not quite clear where they're going to come from. Or do they come through the rocks? I just don't know. I don't know where to put walls is basically what I'm saying. So... We'll just put them in all the spots. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, this is such a bad idea. They can't even attack. What if I instead... Can I just make these windows? Uh-huh. Can they shoot through the windows? Uh -huh. Or does that change their range? No, it changes their range too. I'll just leave it this way. Since I have a thousand wood, I should do this just to be thorough. Get some free damage in on these critters. These guys are just getting wrecked. It's like not even close. This is not what I expected. Yeah. Holy crap. Um. Shoot. Need to pull. Let's go already. A few of you off. Okay. A unit can't reach its destination. You mean they, what? <laughs> oh, this stairway, ah, the stairway at the bottom. I screwed that up. 
Um. There. Yeah, a solid plan. Okay. Yep. Everybody over there died real fast. Huh? Yep. So let's build a wall while we still have time to think about it. Ah, oh, jeez. What? Uh huh. No, am I so? Oh boy. Yeah. Easily. Not that how. Is this everybody? Yep. It's ah me. Where to? Hmm. Uh huh. Don't, Oof. I don't believe. I didn't realize the attack we, over here would be this big. We just big. founded the first town outside Ogar. We did it. Years. Sweet! Alright. There you go. Mission number four. Complete. Difficulty on hard. We only lost five units. I'm pretty happy with our performance. We're still learning all sorts of stuff with this game. What works, what doesn't. How much we need we to defend a wall. The expedition must push on. Ta-da! Alright. Oh yeah, we have knowledge points. I didn't spend my knowledge point last time. So the Book of Insight allows us to unlock new abilities, gain new construction pieces, and improve your citadels. Oh wow. There's citadel units, pieces, Iris. Iris. I should say her name right. Perla attack. Okay. Area of effect attack. Cool. Little impact. Thunderbolt, aren't they? Tempest, moderate but repeating damage to one area. Okay. Units. Does that. Lopper skill powder ball. Is that just improving their attack? I think. Omen shoot multiple arrows at once seems pretty good. Hurts all horrors near the citadel. I don't plan to let horrors to the citadel. So I don't know how much I care about that. Let's do that one first. Yeah, we'll improve lobbers and bowmen. That seems pretty, pretty obvious. Advanced stone pieces. Definitely need that. And then maybe we give Iris an area of effect attack. Perfect. All right. Okay, well, I think I'll call that an episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, head over to patreon.com slash Crydax. There's going to be some awesome uh, stretch goals when we hit those. That'll be a lot of fun. So if you're interested, uh, head over there or just join the Discord and hang out. That's free, and we talk about all sorts of fun stuff. So come over to the Crydania Discord. We'll have fun there. Other than that, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.